Hello there, I am Shyam and you are watching Tech for Trick. So in this video, I am going to talk about Macalac Pits Neuron. So let's get started. The Macalac Pits Neuron was the earliest neural network proposed in 1943. It is usually called as MP Neuron. The Macalac Pits Neuron are connected by directed weighted paths. You will understand this line when I will show you the diagram of the Macalac Pits Neuron. The activation function of Macalac Pits Neuron is binary. Binary means 1 or 0. Basically the neuron may fire or may not fire. We can say that the neuron may produce the output or may not produce the output and it is totally depends on the threshold value. If you don't know what is activation function and what is threshold value, don't worry. Please go and check the previous video. I have already discussed about activation function and threshold value very clearly. Please go and watch the previous video. I'll put a link in the description box below. It has both positive weights or excitatory weights and negative weights or inhibitory weights. We can represent the positive weights as W where W is greater than 0 and negative weights as minus p where p is less than 0. It is mostly used in logic functions like and, or, and not, etc. So let us see what is the activation function for MP neuron. So this is how we can represent the activation function for MP or Macaulay Pitts neuron where f is the activation function and inside this activation function we have x and x is the calculated net input or y in in general or basically y input so it will be 1 if x is greater than theta theta is the fixed threshold value or it will be 0 if x is less than theta pretty simple the threshold with the activation function should satisfy the condition the condition is theta is greater than n into w minus p well what is that theta should be greater than the number of inputs that is n number of inputs into weights if the w means the positive weight so number number of inputs into positive weights for the particular neuron minus p for the negative weights using the above formula we can also get the threshold value if it is not given if we know the inputs, number of inputs, weights or negative weights, then we can simply calculate the threshold value. We will see that later in the next videos where we will calculate the end function for Macalacpitz neuron. So what is the training algorithm of Macalacpitz neuron? Basically there is no particular training algorithm. It is totally depends on the threshold value and activation functions. So let us see the diagram of Macaulay Pitts neuron. So this is the basic diagram of Macaulay Pitts neuron where x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 and 2xn these are the inputs and these are the this is the output layer and these w w minus p these are the weights associated to these inputs. And see this is only one direction from input to output only fit forward okay so how to calculate the net input basically x1 into w plus x2 into w plus x3 into w and so on we can calculate the net input and after calculating the net input we can simply pass the value of the net input to an activation function and that activation function will decide whether the input will fire or not so this is the basic concept of mp neuron We'll see some examples like how to build an AND function using Macaulay Pitts neuron, how to build AND function, how to build OR, how to build AND NOT functions. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. I hope I was able to clear your thoughts about your doubts about Macaulay Pitts neuron. If you learn something new, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and please don't forget to subscribe this channel. In the next video, we'll see how to represent AND functions using Macaulay Pitts neuron. So thank you again. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.